Hi everybody, it's the Christian Kid, and I'm going to be doing the last day of our book, um, How to Relate to Impossible People, and today's day is called Discover the Real Source of Quarrels. So today, we'll just do a quick one, and we'll get it over with, and we'll finish it up, and then uh, we'll get on to the next book. Um, so today's uh, reading comes from James 4. 1 to 10, and I'll read it now. So, what is causing the quarrels and fights among you? Don't they come from the evil desires at war within you? You want what you don't have, so you scheme and kill to get it. You are jealous of what others have, but you can't get it. So you fight and wage around, or wage war to take it away from them. Yet you don't have what you want because you don't ask God for it. And even when you ask, you don't get it because your motives are all, are all wrong. You only want what will give you pleasure. You adulterers, you, or don't you realize that uh, friendship with the world makes you an enemy of God? I say it again. If you want to be a friend of the world, then make yourself, uh, you make yourself an enemy of God. What do you think the scriptures mean when they, when they say that the Spirit God has placed within us is filled with envy, but he gives us even more grace to stand against such evil desires. As the scriptures say, God opposes the proud, but favors the humble. So humble yourself before God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come close to God, and God will come close to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, purify your heart, and love our, for your loyalty is divided between God and the world. Let there be tears for what you have done. Let there be sorrow and deep grief. Let there be sadness instead of laughter and gloom instead of joy. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up in honor. So that is the last reading of the book. Um, so now on to the questions. And the first question is, why do people quarrel and fight? And it says in the Bible that they come from our evil desires, war that are inside us. There's wars like all over the place. Countries are at war, families are at war, and you know, there's whole bunches of people that are at war for different reasons, and we really shouldn't be, and why? Why are we at war? I mean, the things that we're at war for, we can't even take to heaven. So, really, the things we're at war for are pretty much useless. Um, and really, we don't need to be at war for them. Um, but we do. Anyways, as it says, it's our evil desires that are inside of us. It's like we want to fight or something. It's like a need that we feel has to be met or that we need to do and it's not something we need to do. We can live in peace but it's just not there. Um, the second question is how can you or anyone else change? And uh, the way we can change is that we need to humble ourselves before God. Resist the devil and he will flee from us. We need to wash our hands, we need to purify our hearts, and, uh, um, you know, we, we repent from those, and a good way to do that is when we have communion in church, um, or the Last Supper, or the Lord's Supper. Um, when we do that, um, and remember that the bread that we take is his body and the grape juice, the wine, I don't know if there's any churches that use wine anymore. I think it's all grape juice. But it, anyways, it resembles uh, the blood of Christ. And when we, when we take those, and we eat and drink for those, and remember what Christ has done for us, um, we should always repent of our sins, ask forgiveness, um, because if we don't, then we bring stuff onto ourselves. And... Uh, you know, it, it's better if we do that. Um, so, uh, 
when the devil comes to say tempt us, we need to ask God, you know, step back and say to God, like, God help me. I'm weak and I need your help. I need you and we need to ask him to be there for us, um, as a support and to keep help keep us strong. Um, so the third question is what does submit to God mean? And uh I wrote down the meaning of submit and uh, the meaning of submit is to accept or yield to a superior force or the authority or will of another person. The synonyms of it um, are to surrender, to present, give in, or to yield. So basically, um, you know, give God your all, good and the bad. Um, if you give him the good, he will bless you. If you give him the bad, he'll He'll bless you anyways. You give him your all, you surrender everything. And it's, you can't be surrendering everything if you hold something back. Um, sometimes it's hard for us to do, and it won't happen all at once. Um, it'll come on his time, and the more that he works on you, the more that you submit each time, and the more that you allow God to work with you, and on you and through you, the more that you can surrender and it'll be easier for you to surrender more. Um, so, to surrender or to submit to God means to give Him everything. It will come easier as, as you uh, grow in your faith and build a stronger relationship and foundation with God. Um, it just happens on His time and you have to be willing to do it. So. Again, submit to God means to surrender everything. Give him your all, good and the bad. Because he can change bad things into good things. And only good, only good stuff comes from God. So he can bring us through this. He will bring you through this. Any of the bad times you think, he'll be there. Um, one of my favorite poems uh, is Footprints. And uh, there was a section in there where a guy says, um, uh, Father, Lord, he's like, in the time that I needed you the most, I was alone. Why did you leave me? And he replied, my child, the time that you've only seen one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. So no matter what you're going through, just remember that Christ is always going to be there for you. That he's never going to leave you. That's just not in his nature. He loves us. Why would he leave us? So keep that in mind. Everything is possible. Everything is possible with Christ. Nothing is impossible with him. You just have to trust him. Put a little faith in him. Even as small as the mustard seed. It can still happen. So um, that actually concludes the rest of our book. We are done. The book, that was it. Let me know what you think of it. Um, I thought it was a pretty good book. I really enjoyed it. Um, the next book that I'll be going through is uh, it's a bit different. Um, I think it's called Embracing the Good News. I could be wrong. Um, it's done by Billy Graham. Um, from what I've done so far, it looks, or it is pretty good. So, um, yeah. Come back and join me again. And uh, thanks for coming out. And I really hope that you enjoyed this book because I really enjoyed doing it with you. And I hope you come back for more on different books. Anyways, thanks. See you later.